hey what's going on everybody how's everybody doing i'm no scientist no nothing like that though but i want to go ahead and show you guys how to make the patina uh finish on whatever you guys want so this is this is going to be the ingredients that you guys gonna need you guys could go down to the dollar tree and get it that's where i went today and i spent like i will saw four dollars and 44 cents that i spent on salt peroxide water or hydrogen peroxide whatever the heck you guys want to call it and white vinegar then you guys can go ahead and get a container or something like this I got this one and you mix it all together you put a you know I mean put a lot of salt in it then you mix it it's not gonna be like this I already put something in here this way okay you know but you guys mix it like this with the paintbrush from the from the Dollar Tree make sure you know that the salt actually dissolves and then whatever it is that you guys can go ahead and try to give it that patina look what I did I used a grinder with this wheel I got this piece of pipe for the muffler and as you can see I took the coating on it that it protects us from rusting I took it all the way down to metal and then right away after it's been stripped all the way down to the metal you dip it in here let me show you guys what happens you dip the paintbrush here it is see it's clear right but look like the way it turns right away there's your patina instant so we're gonna go ahead and do this whole side right now it's because I mix I mix the peroxide water the salt and the white vinegar and to help it work better I took this piece of pipe all the way down to metal with the grinding with the grinder and that's your results right here look at this it's actually making rust Look at this. And look, let me see something. You see this? I'm putting it right here. It's this color right now because it's already creating rust. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about this? Look, the way it's turning out to be. So pretty much the key to this is that whatever it is, you guys are trying to, to make it like this, you know, like rusty look old patina whatever it is you guys want to call it you got to strip it all the way down to the bare metal now let's go ahead and take a look at the one part of the one that i got inside of the water look at that
This is what I'm going to do right now. Watch this. This is the first time that I do this. I've never done this before. Okay, so I'm going to get it nice like this, soaking wet. And now, let me go ahead and put some salt on top of it. I put salt on it. Let's see what happens, okay? Okay, so I put salt in it, just to see, I just want to see let me, what it does to this all. I want to see if it helps it. So far, so good. Uh, okay. You see the screwdriver right here? I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in here. I want to see what it does. Because that one I did send that one down to to metal. I just want to see if it does any kind of rust on that one too as well. So we're just gonna let it set. You can see the salt right here. How it's turning rusty. There it is. I'm pretty sure if you let it sit overnight, it's gonna look even better. There it is. Look. So, what do you guys think? Okay, let's check out the screwdriver real quick. Nope. That's because it wasn't taken down to the metal this way. It'll probably create some rust probably overnight or something. But this right here on the other hand is working. Okay. Things we do when we when we, when we ain't got nothing to do, huh? <laughs> so 
So there it is. Look how rusty it's looking there. So, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, share this video, and let me know what you guys think, okay? Have a good one. Bye-bye.